Hello class. I thought it might be a good idea to start our first official lesson with a story that we read right before we left school. Why Turtles Shell is Cracked. I thought that was a fun story and you guys seem to really like it. So let's listen to it again. And then we're going to talk about adjectives and some other um, words that will be in the story. Benchmark Education Company presents Shared Reading Classics. Follow along as we read the book. Turn the page when you hear this sound. Now, let's enjoy the story. Why Turtle's Shell is Cracked Retold by Brenda Parks Illustrated by Jason Hawkins. What word would you use to describe turtle? That's what we're going to talk about. What words would you use to describe turtle? Remember, words that describe are called adjectives. So we're going to be looking for adjectives in the story. Long, long ago, all turtles had beautiful, shiny, round shells. Indeed, turtle shells were so bright and shiny, the other animals could see their reflections in them. Day after day, the animals paraded past the shiny shell of the great turtle leader to gaze at themselves in wonder. The great turtle leader was very proud of his very shiny shell. He was also very lazy and very crafty. As the other animals came by to look at themselves, Turtle thought about ways to use his shell for his own good. After days of thinking, Turtle came up with a selfish plan to get food without working for it. Turtle offered a trade with the other animals. If they brought him food, he would sit very still and let them peer closely into his shiny shell. Day after day, Turtle sat very still, eating happily. Bear came to groom his sleek fur. Beaver came to look at his big, sharp teeth. Eagle came to gaze at his sharp talons and powerful hooked beak. When he wasn't eating, Turtle talked and talked and talked. Turtle loved to talk almost as much as he loved eating. And then, because my shell is so shiny... Turtle was very happy with his lazy life. But the other animals were growing tired of his laziness. They were also growing tired of his greedy demands for more and more food. As winter approached, food became scarce. The animals found it difficult to get enough food for themselves as well as for Turtle. And no one had time anymore to look at their reflections in Turtle's shiny shell. The animals held a meeting. They came up with a plan. The geese always flew south at this time of year to a wonderful place. Perhaps they could take Turtle with them. Two geese went to tell Turtle about this place down south where he would have all the food he would ever want. 
Greedy Turtle's eyes grew round as he thought about all that lovely food. Let's go there right away, he said. But how would he get there? Beaver solved that problem. In no time at all, the geese were carrying Turtle through the sky. What did Beaver do in order to solve the problem? I'm looking at page 14, and I see that Turtle is thinking about all the food he can get if he goes with the geese down south. And then I see Beaver. Now, I know beavers have big teeth and they can chew through wood. That's how Beaver was able to help him solve the problem. Because the problem was Turtle couldn't fly. So this picture shows, like we talked about before, how Turtle was able to get there. He was able to hold on to the, the branch that Beaver chewed off and the geese flew him. They flew over mountains and lakes. They flew across forests and deserts. Turtle looked down in wonder at the amazing new sights. Turtle longed to tell the geese about the amazing things he could see. He tried to talk around the branch in his mouth. He said. Be quiet. The geese honked. Be quiet. The geese swooped lower. Now they were flying along a wide, winding river. Huge rocks were piled up all along the riverbanks. Turtle kept mumbling excitedly. Over and over, the geese told him, Be quiet. We are almost there. But still, Turtle tried to talk. As the geese swooped even lower, Turtle saw beautiful ponds by the river. He knew there would be plants and insects as well as little fish. There would be enough food to keep him eating all winter long. This must be the place the geese had told him about. Look at all that food! Turtle shouted joyfully. Then, down, 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 Turtle fell. He landed flat on his back on top of the rocks. Crack! 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 Went his beautiful, shiny shell. Turtle was very frightened. Geese! Geese! Please help me! He pleaded. When the geese helped Turtle turn over, they could hardly believe their eyes. Turtle's beautiful, shiny shell had wide cracks all over it. Turtle looked up sadly. Tears ran down his beak as he said, If you will mend my shell, I promise never to be greedy or lazy again. The geese scooped mud and sand from the riverbank. Then, slowly and carefully, they mended the cracks in Turtle's shell. And that is why, to this very day, Turtles have cracked shells. It is to remind them that they must gather their own food and not be greedy. What are they thinking? Okay, now, we also talked about the what are they thinking page. But boys and girls, I want to show you something that you can do. And I uploaded this book to your Clever page. If you go into Benchmark Advance, you can pull up this story and do this as well. When you get to this part of the book, 
and you see this little icon, you click on it and it will give you a note page. Then you can click on the A, which is the text size. Click on this little wrench Then click on, let's, let's go back. Click on the wrench first and then the pin. Now you'll be able to choose your text size and you can type in your answers. What are they thinking? Well, for the first one, I think Turtle is thinking about how he can get food from these animals. Because I see Beaver is looking or peering, that's the word we learned, at Turtle's shell. So Turtle's probably thinking, oh, I know if I let him look at my shell, he'll give me some food. So you can type that. Beaver will give me some food. I said me because I am speaking for turtle. Now, we won't do all of them, but what do you think he was thinking here when he was falling? Do you think he was thinking about his shell? Because that part of the story said he was scared. He might have been thinking, oh, no. I'm in trouble now. Exclamation point. Like I said, boys and girls, when you pull up this book, I want you to try to annotate in this way. Let's go back to the beginning of the story because I told you we were going to talk about adjectives. We started talking about adjectives in class and we said that they describe a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Our question at the beginning of the story was, what word would you use to describe turtle? Well, let's see if we can find all the words that described turtle. And I'm going to make some more notes. So I clicked on that icon. I click on the wrench. The arrow, let's go back, the wrench, and then the pin. Let's see if we can find some adjectives. Long, long ago, all turtles had beautiful, shiny, round shells. So we're describing the shells of the turtle. The shells are beautiful, shiny and round. So let's see. Can I get, I want to underline. Pen. Okay. 
having a little trouble here. Okay, pen. Beautiful, shiny, round. Then it says, indeed, the turtle shell, the tur indeed, turtle shells were so bright and shiny, the other animals could see their reflections in them. So again, The shells are being described as bright and shiny. But let's see if we can find some adjectives that describe turtle. The turtle that we just read about. Look at this page. The great turtle leader was very proud of his very shiny shell. He was also very lazy and very crafty. Hmm. He was also very lazy and very crafty. Let's see. He was lazy. He was crafty. Remember we talked about crafty? I forgot who said that. Oh, that means that he was sneaky. Hmm. He liked to play tricks on people. And we know the trick that he played on the rest of the animals was to get them to bring him all their food so that he wouldn't be hungry, but they did all the work. Okay, boys and girls, I think that's enough work for right now. We may revisit this story again. I want you to take some time to reread this story and see if you can find some other adjectives on the other pages. Before you end your reading session for today, I want you to also go back and take a look at the phonics video that I also listed for you to watch. I want you to watch that on Tuesdays. No, let's, yeah, let's keep Tuesdays and mm, Wednesdays. That will be part of our reading lessons. I will list lessons for you to watch on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But I always want you to start with that phonics video. Thank you for your time. And I will also be posting math lessons.